Project HARP, short for High Altitude Research Project, was a joint venture of the United States Department of Defense and Canada's Department of National Defense, created with the goal of studying ballistics of re-entry vehicles and collecting upper atmospheric data for research. Unlike conventional space launching methods that rely on rockets, HARP instead used very large guns to fire projectiles into the atmosphere at extremely high speeds. A 16-inch HARP gun operated by the U.S. Army's Ballistic Research Laboratory at Yuma Proving Ground currently holds the world record for the highest altitude, 180 kilometers, that a gun-fired projectile has achieved. Project HARP originated as the brainchild of Gerald Bull, a renowned but controversial ballistic engineer specializing in high-velocity guns and gun propulsion systems. He worked at the Canadian Armaments and Research Development Establishment Card when he formulated the idea to launch satellites into orbit using an enormous cannon. In 1961, Bull resigned from Card and McGill University hired him as a professor. Working together with Donald Mordell, the university's dean of engineering, Bull moved forward with his space gun project and requested funding from various sources. In 1962, Bull and Mordell established a McGill University research station on Barbados as HARP's main base of operations for its 16-inch supergun. The site location was first suggested by Mordell, who believed that a launch site closer to the equator would allow the projectile to procure extra velocity from the Earth's rotation to reach higher altitudes. In addition, the site's close proximity to the Atlantic Ocean made for the safe impact of re-entry projectiles. The installation of the 16-inch gun began at the newly established High Altitude Research Facility in April 1962. A gun pit was dug into the island's coral base and a concrete emplacement was built on a plateau so that the gun barrel could stand vertically. From late January to early February 1963, the 16-inch gun on Barbados conducted its first test series using the Martlet 1, the first of which flew for 145 seconds and reached an altitude of 26 kilometers. The Martlet 1 was the first test projectile of the HARP program. Designed in 1962, it was a 16-inch gun bore that weighed 450 pounds, was 6.6 inches in diameter. The 16-inch harp gun at high water range was established in 1964 near McGill University to conduct flight tests and other general research on the harp guns without traveling all the way to the launch site at Barbados. Although the high water 16-inch gun was only capable of horizontal test flights and could not be elevated higher than 10 degrees, it was frequently used to test new and experimental launch vehicles and gun systems under each gun loads and in free flight. In 1965, the barrel of the high water 16-inch gun was extended to a length of 176 feet, holding the record for the longest big bore artillery piece in the world. The 16-inch harp gun at Yuma Proving Ground was constructed in 1966 in order to establish a functional 16-inch gun on American soil and holds the record for achieving the highest projectile launched. It was almost identical to the 16-inch gun on Barbados, being 119 feet long, but was limited by a 35-mile range restriction. However, unlike the Barbados gun, its projectiles could be recovered since they were not lost in the ocean upon their journey back down. Throughout 1966, the HARP program experienced a series of funding delays caused by immense opposition from critics in the Canadian government and growing bureaucratic pressures. In November 1966, the Canadian government announced that it would pull all Project HARP funding after June 30, 1967. Despite Bull's attempts to resuscitate the program, the Canadian government withdrew its support in 1967. This decision promptly caused the U.S. Army to withdraw its funding as well, leading to the program's complete termination. Both the HARP guns at Barbados and at high water range were shut down, though the HARP guns under the jurisdiction of the U.S. military remained operational. After HARP was cancelled, the 16-inch gun on Barbados remained on its emplacement, where it remains to this day, gradually rusting away. That's all for today, see you in another video.